Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys. As well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I'm actually sitting here. I'm a little early getting uh, ready for our Sunday afternoon uh, vent session live stream, and um, probably won't have this up before then. But I was sitting here thinking, because this is draft week, you know, um, I actually made a mistake when I said we had seven draft picks a few weeks ago when we actually have nine because we have the compensatory picks and so on because we do actually have nine picks. And, you know, people would come at me and say, hey, stop worrying about, you know, the free agents that we got. We got nine draft picks, man. We got nine. You know, we'll take care of all the holes and stuff like that. And I try and explain to people that the draft is the best way to build a team, but you can't expect guys – to come out the box as rookies to be starters that will carry you to a Super Bowl. It's never been an all-rookie team that's gone and won the Super Bowl. It takes time to develop, and some positions take a couple of years before you actually have players that are really, really good players. Some positions like defensive line and guard, offensive guard and things like that, you can see guys that come out, edge rushers, that play really well because it's not as complex as, say, being a quarterback or a center, uh, even wide receivers. You don't typically see those guys come out and be impactful um, right off the bat. That It does happen. You know, sometimes you get a Justin Jefferson or an Odell Beckham, but it's really few and far between. That's more the exception than the rule. So I want to preface this and say yes. You know, the Cowboys have done better in the draft than most teams at building a team because, let's face it, they don't use free agency. They can only build through the draft. And they've hit on a lot more picks than most teams have. You know, it doesn't mean they hit on everyone because nobody hits on anyone. You know, the draft is more of a 50-50 crapshoot, I like to think, because, you know, you got about a 50-50 shot of them being a great player or being a bust. And as we look through and we say, yeah, we got nine picks – We've got a draft problem, and that is the fifth round. The fifth round for the Dallas Cowboys, where we actually have four picks this year. We, I believe, have more picks in the fifth round than any team. Unfortunately, that is the worst round for the Cowboys. I wanted to go back and give you guys an example of what we get when we deal with fifth-round picks. It may be that maybe we can package up some of those and get rid of them because – they, these dogs just have not hunted. So let me give you an example here. Up in here, let me move over this way so it doesn't block my face, although some of y'all probably say it's better to have your face blocked. But in 2012, the Cowboys' fifth-round pick was Danny Cole. Danny Cole selected by the Dallas Cowboys in the fifth round, 152 of the 2012 draft. Signed a four-year deal with a base salary of 390000 He suffered a broken toe in conditioning drills and was forced to miss OTA. Excuse me. Sorry, his career was that, that boring. It literally put you to sleep. He was released on August 30th and re-signed on the practice squad, and the season was cut short when he tore his ACL and put on injured reserve. And that was it. That was it to Danny Cole. Next up, we have the underwear bandit. Joseph Randall. Randall selected in the fifth round, 151 overall of the 2013 draft. He serves as a backup for DeMarco Murray and had a chance to start two games when Murray was injured. He finished his rookie season with 164 yards and two touchdowns. The next year, he was named backup to Murray over Lance Dunbar. He finished the season with 51 carries, 343 yards, and three touchdowns. His 6.7 yard average would have ranked him first in the league among running backs and second um, in average yards posted by Russell Wilson. But his 51-yard rushing attempts were not enough to qualify. You needed 100 to be on there. He was named a starter after Murray left in free agency. He started his first six games until suffering a strained oblique and being substituted by, the, by Darren McFadden, who ran for 150 yards on 29 carries. He was demoted to reserve role and left the facility, learning the news of his fates of possibly being suspended. And eventually he was for the still in cologne and underwear. He is actually one of the successful stories of the Cowboys in fifth rounds. Devin Street, looking to improve their wide 
receiver position um, after release of Miles Austin. They traded their fifth overall pick in their sixth round to move up with the Detroit Lions in the fifth round to 146. As a rookie, he was active in all 16 games, but was rarely used as the team's fifth wide receiver. Um, and he had two receptions for 18 yards. Um, he broke his ankle the next year in training camp, and that was basically about it. Ryan Russell, the next year, fifth round pick, 163 in 2015 draft. After, um, after dropping because the physical seals didn't match his on-the-field production, in training camp he tried at left defensive end and a three-technique defensive tackle. This is one of those things that drive me crazy because the Cowboys always take a defensive end and say you're a three-technique. They're not the same position. And I think the Cowboys do themselves a disservice thinking that they can take a defensive end and make him a tackle. You can They can play that, but they're usually not real successful at it because they just don't have – the strength in all that. But anyway, he appeared in one game, was declared an active in 11 after being limited with an abdominal strain and placed on injured reserve. And that's pretty much it. Mike White. Mike White, who actually is still on a, a roster for the Jets and actually, I believe, played and won a game for the Jets. Fifth round pick by the Cowboys. Um, was the eighth quarterback drafted in 2018, became the Western Kentucky uh, the second Western Kentucky quarterback drafted in the NFL and signed a four-year 2.67 million. Okay. So he never played any games other than preseason for the Cowboys. Mike Jackson, or Michael Jackson, da 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 beat it. Just beat it. Yeah, they, he, he, he just beat it. Fifth round, 158, waived in August and signed on the practice squad. Michael Jackson beat it. Then we had Joe Jackson, no relation, selected by the Cowboys, 165, appeared in five games as a backup defensive end, was declared an active in 11 contests. His participation de uh, decreased after Robert Crin was reinstated from suspension and only played in 72 defensive snaps. Most of them coming this season opener against the Giants. He totaled five tackles, two quarterback pressures, and one pass defense. And then there's Bradley and I, Cowboys, 179 pick in the 2020 draft after dropping because he didn't test well in the NFL combine. As a rookie, he appeared in six games with the minimum planning opportunities. After defensive end Randy Gregory returned from suspension, and I was declared inactive in nine of the last 10 contests. And he was later reported in the media that the team's defensive end struggles and depth against the run were the reason for his lack of playing time. And November... He was waived, and then he signed with uh, New York Jets this past January. And the other one last year, of course, is Semi Fuko, and the jury is out on Semi. We'll see if he becomes the exception to the rule. But here's the reality. When you start talking about we can plug all the holes with the draft, you know, we're golden in the first round. We have been really, really good. We've we've had about a 70% hit rate on first-round draft picks, you know, being uh, good players. Second round, we're about 25% hits. We're not real good in the second round. Fifth round, in the last, you know, 10 years or so, zero. With a chance to go to 10%. So, here's where you start looking at this and saying, hmm, can the Dallas Cowboys plug all their holes through the draft? I'm not sure that they can. You're going to have to get, or you're just going to have to have lesser talent. Um, but thinking that we can just fix everything through the draft, if you're counting on those fifth-round picks being immediate impact starters, it ain't going to happen, bro. It ain't going to happen. But that is what it is. You never know. It could be that this year we end up changing the curve. We end up getting a couple of guys that actually hold on to the team more than a year or two, and that may actually play valuable moments. I mean, we did have Joseph Randall. You know, he, he at least got on the field. He at least was named a starter. Other than that, 
we haven't busted a grape in the fifth round. We'll definitely talk about that more soon in my, my live stream coming up as well as as we get ready for the draft this week. I appreciate you guys. Just remember one thing. You play to win the game. Hello? You play to win the game. You don't play to just play it. That's the great thing about sports. You play to win. And I don't care if you don't have any wins. You go play to win. When you start telling me it doesn't matter, then retire. Get out. Because it matters.